All right, you guys have a good ride down. All right, let's go for a ride. From snowboarding from Banner Elk, Lo and I left early on Saturday morning. We, we left at 3 a.m. to go drive five hours to go up to Sugar Mountain because Sugar Mountain is first come, first serve on ski lift tickets. So every morning when they open up at 8 a.m., we're just going to say a nice even number 200 tickets. The first 200 people to go to the ticket window to buy a ticket, they get you know their time out on the mountain. And other places like Beach, which is the other mountain on Banner Oak, you can go online and RSVP. RSVP. Actually, I think that's the only way you could do it at Beach. You can't just go up and buy a ticket at the window. You have to buy it online and then show your, you know, copy of your purchase or confirmation of your purchase uh, at the window. Beach has been sold out all week. Like, I already knew that there was zero chance of getting a ski lift ticket to go to Beach. So instead, we went to Sugar Mountain uh, because that was at least a... A gamble because you can you can try to be one of the first like I said we're gonna say 200 people to go so we woke up we left early we took Annie we packed everything and we left uh, and unfortunately when we pulled into the parking lot Lo looks over at me and asks if I had brought the her ski boots and the night before we packed everything we double checked and I don't understand how we forgot her ski boots but we forgot her ski boots so unfortunately Lo had zero time out in the mountain that's why in the video is only me uh, so she hung out with Annie, and that was a lot of fun. Those two played out in the snow and throwing the ball, and Annie is just the most wonderful puppy in the world. But your boy got to go out in the mountain, and your boy got to shred. And it was, like I said, it was nice because this year we've had a lot of snow. And we being North Carolina, the mountains have had a lot of snow, and in the past few seasons, now that all the trails have been opened up, but this season with all the extra snow, it's all, it's wide open. Everything is going, everything is a green. And that's been, that was a lot of fun. And there was even some new paths that personally, either in the past I didn't have the skill or that are just new I haven't seen before uh, that, that appeared. And I was able to go off the track and like drop in. There was one spot like specifically at the top. And you see it in the video. And it doesn't look nearly as big as it felt in person. But like you had to drive. You had to drive. You had to gain enough speed 
ramp up the side and then basically it just was like this 90 degree drop or you could ride it down but you rode down kind of into a branch or you could just go for the drop and I was just going for the drop in and going uh, and it felt, uh, I don't know, it felt cool. Recently, if you guys have been watching, I've gotten into this. If you go to the store and go all the way to the bottom, you go to the CDL League and support you know, your favorite team. Mine happens to be Opti Gaming with Hex, with Scum, with Dash, you with Envoy, Envoy, whatever you want to call yourself, Formal. It's just my favorite group of my content creators. I like what they put online. They seem like pretty genuine guys. It doesn't hurt that they're also very, very good at the game. So I figured I'd support them, show them my love. I subscribe to them on YouTube. I, I enjoy their content. And uh, kind of encourage me to do content like this where I'm just hanging out with you guys, chatting, and kick it back and relax. And so let's go ahead and queue up. I've really just been focused on playing Domination and the new game of Express. You know? Whatever we get, we get. Let's enjoy it. So, a little story time so you can go ahead and kick back, open up a cold one. I have Sprite Zero because I don't want any sugar. I try to minimize the amount of sugar that I have. But today's story time is going to be all about the history of snowboarding. The snowboarding had this founder. His name is Jake Burton. If you guys are into snowboarding, you know Burton itself is a brand. Burton came from Jake Burton, the founder of snowboarding. And snowboarding's original name was going to be Snurfing. Snow Surfing. Because he was from Northern California, and in the wintertime, when it snowed, people were sledding, and they eventually progressed it standing up on the sled, and having this piece of wood with a, literally a rope and a handle on it, then you would stand up on it and ride that SOB down. That's how, that's how snowboarding originally came to be. And then he figured it out and worked, because he was a big surfer, he worked with like local surf, surfers and surf shops, I believe, got bored, and was making basically his first own very first snowboards, right? So he's the founder. He's the guy who kind of paved the way. He's the pioneer of all of this. So I don't have anything burned. Uh, actually, you know what? That's a lie. My jacket. Two years ago, we had, there was actual like snowstorm. Oh, that was bad. Flash him. Two years ago, there was actually a lot of snow that came down in North Carolina, and it got super cold. I was completely underdressed. Lauren, like you guys know, she's my better half. Oh my god, he's laying in the back. She saw me shivering. She went inside and got my got me a nice Burton jacket. Burton itself as a as a brand has been around obviously since the get-go. And it's been very cool to see the evolution of snowboarding because it's only been around since the 1960s, 1970s. It is a oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. It's a really new thing. <laughs> Get out of here! I'm trying to tell a story! So, on the East Coast, you had this guy, his name was Tim. We're gonna say Tim Dillon. Or not Tim Dillon the comedian, I, but I wanna say Tim Dillon was the guy's name. But he was more of a skateboarder. He brought the big skateboarding, freestyling element to snowboarding. Because of this skateboarding element that he brought, it also brought the skateboarding stigma, which was these rebellious kids who didn't know how to follow rules. So, ski actual, like, ski resorts stopped allowing snowboarders to actually come. So, snowboarders had to sneak on the ski resorts, hence the name Ski Resorts, uh, because skiing was seen as this luxurious, uh, I don't want to say thing, but it, it was seen much more of a luxury than skateboarding, which was something that kids were doing, that outcast quote unquote were doing, that, that kids who were bringing trouble and would, would be a, a, a pain. Would, would, would be there. That's why ski resorts wouldn't let them in. It was completely stupid. What it took was new faces and just constant, constant attack from these snowboarders and people like Sean White to keep breaking boundaries and keep pioneering to, to be able to break through and for it to become a thing. Sir. Oh, 
still going for gold. Because I love gold! Oh my gosh, hold up. We gotta see this. Best play. The boy got the best play. Look, a little switch option. A little hot swap action. A 99. Alright, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me for a little story time. I hope you guys appreciated that story time. I know it's kind of all over this place. Hopefully, in post editing, I can uh, I can fix that and kind of consolidate it a little bit. But I appreciate you guys for watching the video. It really does mean a lot. If you would go ahead and leave a comment down below. When was the last time you went snowboarding? If you've ever been snowboarding, what was your experience like? Uh, I have a, a little room cross rocket. So if you go snowboarding, I'm looking for a, a new one or a new board. Let me know what you guys have. Uh, if you also would hit that subscribe button, your boy's uploading Monday through Friday. With that said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe! Peace!